This is Twit. I love ah, stories nice. like this. I've talked about this on the show many, many times, how, how AI is influencing music and creativity and this sort of stuff. Uh, open AI researchers have devised a system called Jukebox that creates original uh, songs from scratch. And, you know, it's it's done in a similar way that w to what we're used to. It's the same technology behind deep fakes. You know, it's really all, all about training the algorithm with a large data set and then letting the algorithm go, go wild and the, the system go wild and creating something based on that data set. It's an open uh, source algorithm. They trained this using 1.2 million music samples from real artists across all genres and essentially how it works is you feed it a genre. So you say rock in the style of uh, queen uh, and then you give it a small sample of some lyrics and then it uses that information and the 1.2 million music samples that it, that have been fed into it to create an all new song <laughs> that wow. basically sounds like, like it could be, have been created by a human. And we're talking drums, uh, guitars, keyboards, lyrics, vocals, solos, all this stuff. The things that it's not very good at yet are certain musical structures. So like the idea of like a repeating chorus, how a chorus happens and then you go verse and then it comes back to the chorus. Not quite there yet. Have to imagine they'll get there eventually. But John, um, I implore you to basically pick anything on this page and play the, play the audio from it because any one of these, you, you listen to it and it's not quite perfect. Like you're listening to it, it's kind of a little off, but it's crazy that a computer just kind of created this out of thin air. Uh, based on this algorithm, and I'm curious which one you're picking. Let's see here. Oh. Come on, get to it. This is still Nick Dion. <laughs> so this is Celine Dion. Okay, playing. I can't wait uh, to go play with this. Yeah, so this is obviously in the style of Celine Dion, this is pop music sample. They've got like hip hop in the style of rock, and it's crazy. Oh my goodness, Celine, a, a Celine Dion song that she never sang or wrote. That's wild. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's kind, of, really... kind of blows your mind. So then we end up in this weird world of like, okay, so what happens then when a computer, a computer algorithm creates a song that sounds so similar to a real artist that the artist decides, hey, I don't want that. I want to sue or get that removed or whatever. What are the rights and everything that come into yeah. play in a legal battle when you're talking about that? Is this sampling I don't know because it was created by a computer, but it was based on a training set that involved real music. I don't know. It's it's a weird world that we live in. Interesting. Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who's as because this reminds me of that. Now it's a little bit different, of course, but it reminds me of that. Uh, there was an ape that took a photo. Uh, I should say a primate that took a photo of itself with a camera. Yeah. And then that photo ended up going, you know, I think it was printed in a magazine and the person who owned the photo, who owned the camera said, you know, that photo is mine essentially. But then there was an argument that the photo belonged to the ape that belonged to the primate. Right. And of course, a primate is a living, breathing creature. But does this, there it is, there's the monkey selfie uh, and the monkey's representatives are going to sue us oh. uh, now. No, I'm kidding. And so it makes me wonder, you know, does this apply to an AI? Maybe not at this point, but in the future when we have her style AI, uh, who knows? Ooh, this I mean, is I mean, imagine this technology being developed further for the next couple of years and suddenly you create a song that sounds indecipherable from Celine Dion. Like literally it's Celine Dion's voice. It's, you know, the lyrics are spot on, uh, the music is spot on, but she never had anything to do with it. And this, this gets us closer to there, but when you really listen to it, it's kind of like, I think those are real lyrics. I can't really quite tell. And some of the other uh, songs that are represented, there's like some dissonance between the instruments. So you can tell kind of, it, it feels like a patchwork versus like an actual cohesive song. But, but again, with all this technology, we're the, we're here now. So think about where we'll be five years from now when this is developed further and the systems get better and all this kind of stuff. And yeah, it's going to be a really interesting kind of uh, legal conundrum that we'll find ourselves in. I'm suing you, computer. <laughs> computer.
I am suing you. <laughs> I'm taking you oh, to court, boy. computer. And who knows? Wow. Maybe maybe computers will be able to defend themselves in uh, in court. Probably. Yeah.